wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for October 4th. Well, here we are with the fourth day of the month, and we have three systems active presently. Hurricane Sandwich is oddly intensifying as it reaches the 39 degree north line. Victor, which is barely a depression, and Shahingu Lab, which is currently moving inland in the country of Oman. 77 storms have formed so far this flight season. It's day 126 of Atlantic hurricane season, and Sam is looking oddly good for a storm so far up north, while Victor is barely producing enough convection for it to remain a tropical depression. Of course, it is expected to dissipate within the next 12 to 24 hours. And the East Pacific, it's all dead over here. The area of interest that tried to cross over into the Central Pacific just basically died. Um, every single chance that we've tried to see with anything going into the Central Pacific has just flat out died, and the case remains the same as we head into the month of October. As we go into the Western Pacific, things are looking a lot more serious here with two new invests, 92W and 93W. 92W has a 90% chance of formation and can pose a significant threat to the Hainan Peninsula or China, even up to Hong Kong, while 93W has a 60% chance of formation as well. In the North Indian Ocean, the only thing active right now is Tropical Storm Shaheen, uh, which is currently moving inland. Um, it is expected to continue weakening as it approaches more dry land. Uh, a very rapid weakening, especially with the small size of the storm. We're going to be trying to bring these back, but here's the track forecast. Uh, for Hurricane Sam, 105 mile an hour winds by our analysis. It is expected to weaken, hopefully, as it continues to the northeast before turning into a powerful extratropical system as it approaches the 50 degree north latitude line before radically moving towards the east and then turning back up towards the north as it entangles itself with another low before turning slightly towards the west once more. Here is the Atlantic satellite imagery, and you can see what's going on here. Uh, Sam looking pretty good with the full-on eye being cleared uh, after what initially thought was supposed to be a full-on weakening trend, but it seems that Sam is not quite done yet. Those warm temperatures currently helping it right now. In the eastern Pacific, you can see what's going on here. Not really much besides a complete mess of activity. Nothing that's really going to be developing into a tropical system anytime soon here. So it's all looking pretty quiet here as it has been since Olaf died three weeks ago. In the Western Pacific, you can see what's going on with the two invests. They look quite uh, broad in terms of their nature. Uh, the Philippines expected to see some rain where signal 1 warnings are currently in place, although this situation could be turning a lot more significant based off of what models have been showing. Hainan Peninsula and China need to be really on watch with this uh, as we get a better idea what's going on. Uh, and the 93W looks to be uh, mostly out to sea for at least the next five days. In the North Indian Ocean, you can see what's going on here, and you can see the tiny storm that is Shaheen Gulav, or just Shaheen, uh, locally as it makes landfall. It's been pretty impressive for a storm that crossed over for the month of September. And then, of course, you can see what's going on as the eye of Sam clears back out, despite being so far north. Uh, that has prompted us to upgrade our uh, analysis back up to 105. National Hurricane Center still has a slightly slower at. Um, 100 miles an hour, but of course we will see what goes on the issue of their advisory. Here is the Eastern Pacific set of, or sea surface temperatures, and you can see what's going on here around 28 to 29 degrees Celsius uh, throughout the eastern Pacific, uh, the eastern part of the Pacific. And then as you head west, those temperatures are a little bit cooler. In the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, those temperatures around 27 to 29 degrees Celsius. And if you go to the Leeward Islands, it's slightly higher, around 30. Main development region slightly cooler, around 28. Uh, to 29 degrees Celsius, and then of course as you head into the Western Atlantic, those temperatures are still up there. Um, and then of course as you head into the North Indian Ocean, those temperatures are around 29 to 30 degrees Celsius. As you head into the Bay of Bengal, it's around 27 to 29 degrees Celsius there. A little cooler as you head southwestwards. And in the Western Pacific, we're looking at those temperatures around 29 to 30 degrees Celsius throughout the majority of the bays, except for where Mindul tracked over. Those temperatures are around 26 to 27 as a result there. The Southern Hemisphere is still looking rather cool for right now. Of course, we are still around a month or two, although 91S was allegedly designated. Uh, whether that is going to form is looking pretty impossible. And the sea surface temperature anomaly side of things, you can see the upwelling we've seen with uh, Mindul and Sam here. Other than that, the basins that they are in are above average. 
in the Eastern Pacific is slightly above average, we could definitely see the uh, La Nina becoming more pronounced there. Central Pacific looking cooler than average, as well as the southwestern parts of the North Indian Ocean. On this day, 1995, it was another pretty significant day, with Hurricane Opal making landfall, uh, or about to make landfall, as a Category 4. It reached a peak of 150 miles an hour officially, while there was also Tropical Storm Knoll, uh, which was about to start its weakening trend before going out to sea uh, and dissipating there. You can find more of our On This Day products by Cyclone History. Their Twitter account is followed by their account below. Of course, Opal was part of the very significant 1995 hurricane season that defined the era of hyperactivity that we've seen since. Well, that brings us over to the next names in the Atlantic. The final name on the list is Wanda, followed by Adria. In the Eastern Pacific, we are looking out for Pamela and Rick still. And in the Central Pacific, while Kit Kat's slogan is have a break, have a Kit Kat, we're telling you to have a break, have a wait for Hone. In the Western Pacific, we're looking out for Lion Rock and Kampasu. Chances are we'll be seeing those in the next five days. In the North Indian Ocean, the next two names now are Jawad followed by Asani. Moving it on over to the Southern Hemisphere, specifically the Southwestern Indian Ocean, the next two names here are Anna followed by Bat Sire. In the Australian region, we're looking out for Patty and Ruby. And in the South Pacific, we're looking out for Cody. We'll be back for another Tropical One Bulletin tomorrow night, as always.